I cannot believe that today is the day that Minecraft Dungeons Season 2 Luminous Night came out today. And I've, I've known about this for ages, which is why I was grinding Season 1 for the past like week or so. Because like an idiot, I bought the pass too late and I only got to like rank 23 or something out of 50. But oh well, it was still good. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I am Just Joe, and today, yes, we are talking about Minecraft Dungeons Season 2 Luminous Night. And we're going to go straight into it and check out what's new. So let's just get into it. Oops. Keep pressing the wrong button. So first things first, those who are returning to the game, it's now in night in the camp. I love it. Looks cool. Um, we have a storage chest. I just keep looking at my camera because uh, I'm out of focus. There we go. I stay in focus now. So we've got a storage chest now, which the name is in the title here. We can now store all our items there. And if you're like me, who has a ton of items, just like an item hoarder, uh, it can start putting stuff in there. I mean, like, okay. You can put up to 300 items, apparently. I've, I've read the patch notes. We'll go through that. Um, sure. Oh, you got an achievement for doing that. How does it all fit? So easy achievement for you guys. If you've got a ton of items, just, oops. <clears throat> I don't want to put everything in there, actually. Oh, as long as I keep my loot. So I'm right, moving on. So just to show you guys my current power level and uh, my build. Um, at the minute, I've got it set to like my speed run build. It's pretty, pretty beast. I like it. But thanks to the guys who have been helping me out lately with um loot and getting this particular setup for speed running which is a massive help for when i needed to do ancient hunts when you had to complete 30 of them and it's just makes life so much easier when you've got a speed run build and you can just blitz through the level as quickly as possible just to go in depth with what a speed build is so you want items that increase your speed your movement speed so I have the Death Cat Mushroom, got Boots of Swiftness, and the Ghost Cloak. And also to help out, the Ember Robe. I think all robes come with this, but it also has a 15% move speed aura. And then I've got my beloved Fighter's Bindings, my pride and joy. I am, like, so hyped about these. I keep putting them in the Blacksmith every now and again just to make them more OP. Current power level 235. No bad, no bad. So, again, with the previous season, this is my current inventory. That's some pretty good stuff. I'm really enjoying the emotes. Really cool. Uh, my favorite one, though, being the breakdancing one. Absolutely love it. In fact, we could just preview some of those here. So the Enderman melee moves. Smooth operator. Wait, I think my camera's in the way of that. I'll move my camera here so you guys can see a little bit easier. My bad. And the axolotl. Whatever that is. The elytra. Yo, when I first found out you could fly in the game, uh, it was an absolute game changer. It was so cool. It added like a total new dimension to the game. I was like, this is sick. Ironic dance, just a few dabs. The pickaxe. And we'll keep my stylish spins as my uh, go to emote for now. Uh, so, level up flares, healing flares, mob flares, and yeah. So, we've looked at the storage chest. I've shown you guys my build and all that good stuff. Oops. Oh. Just let him do his thing. So. I've already been to the merchant just to see if there's anything fancy in there. Isn't really, so we're just gonna keep with what I have. There's nothing now. I don't think there's anything else new in the camp. Uh, 
Um, what I do know is, is that the tower has changed or something. So I think that's the first thing we're going to go and do, actually, is uh, just go and check out the tower. We'll have a run through the tower. In fact, no. Before we go to the tower, we're going to go to the uh, Adventure Hub. Because this time, I bought the pass, the Adventure Pass. So we're going to try and keep on top of it this time. We're going to try and reasonably play this game regular, weekly, just so I can complete the challenges and make sure I'm, like, getting the ranks. Yeah, so I can unlock all these goodies. So, with rank one, we get a wild axe at hull and 500 emeralds. We get a new skin, healing bloom, some more emeralds. What is this? Whatever that guy is. It? That, must, oh, that must be a pet. I do love a good emote, so we've got the twirl. Uh, Horticulturist has some new skins. Snow shapes. Pretty cool. Got some more flares. Flashy fungi. Evoker snap. Huh? Gauntlet check. Victorious punch. Simple clap. Luminous night cape. Cool. Lava Burst, Neil Pose, Fearless Flex, Cool, Abdominator, Ah, Cloud Watcher, Light Burst, Mini Abomination, Ancient Beam, Some more new skins, Zombified Shuffle, the mighty sword. I love gold. Monstrosity stump. Okay, cool. Fungi fan. Glow getter. Take aim. Take flight. Pancake. Ah, that's pretty cool. Ink artist. Last but not least, rank 50. Right, okay, so now the challenges. This week's challenges. Block incoming projectiles using the shield totem. 400! Oh my gosh. Travel without touching the ground? Wait, how does it say I've done that four already? Is that rolling? How have we already done that four times? I don't... Ah, okay, so... Like, at height, then. Okay. Shoom. You could just literally do that here, then, couldn't you? So we're gonna find... Oh! That's gonna help. If we... Get up high somewhere. No. Oh! Wait, here we go. So... Go up here. I'd say this is the highest point. So now we're just going to go. Yay! Ah! That, that was a massive fail. <laughs> All right, we'll try it again. Yay! Oh. They will probably help. Maybe if I just keep doing this. So we can't, oh, we can't actually look at the adventure hub. So we'll go back. 150. Oh, mate. That's an easy one. I'm going to absolutely smash that. I could literally just spam that right now. This will be done easy. How long do you reckon it'll take? I'm not going to time it. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've never had so much fun in my life. Right, Adventure Hub. Oh, so close, 853. I'll do two for good luck. Oh! 
Oh, you get a notification now in the top. That's epic. Ah, see, you didn't do that in season one. That is very helpful. Perfect. Like that. So easy. You can get the first challenge done within minutes. So now I've got to defeat mobs using charmed mobs. Okay, defeat necromancer. 200, oh my gosh, stun mobs. Stun. Right, now we've got that out of the way. Let's go over to the tower. Right. Two, what? Two attempts? I'm sure you got three. These are new, then these luminous things on the walls. I like that. It's a nice little touch. Oh my gosh. It feels difficult already. I never used to struggle on the first floor. Maybe I'm just a little rusty. I don't know why I've got the map up. That's new as well. It never you never used to get big title on the screen saying floor cleared. So I like how they add these little touches. Very nice. Right, available rewards. So what hmm, really? Most importantly, I always go with like the weapon first. So I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna upgrade the weapon. Then it then it becomes armor and then whatever enchantment uh, not enchantments, gear. Um you know what I'm talking about, those things at the bottom. Oops. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it used to be three at oh no. Oh no. This is going to be very... This is going to be a short run, you guys. Oh, my gosh! No! Oh, no. Oh! No! Oh, my gosh. This is embarrassing. This video is going to be very short. I tell you what, though. I'd never struggled like this before. Oh my gosh, the, I'm sure they've increased the difficulty. The, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. The first time I played the tower on Apocalypse difficulty, I completed it on the first run. And I hate these guys. I hate those with the, sh oh, with the pushbacks. Oh my god. I can't do it. I'm sorry, embarrassed. One floor completed. What do I get for that? Nothing. Oh my gosh. That was so embarrassing. Oh, but... Wait, what? I'm like rank 3 already? How did I rank... Oh, wait. Okay. But still, after completing that first challenge to be on rank 3 already, that's pretty good going. So let's just claim my goodies. So now, really, I need the totem shield. Do I even have the totem shield? I really need to start looking at my gear now. I've got a lot of regenerations. Right, okay. Oh my gosh, a lot of rods. Right. So, hmm. Should we just try it again? Might have just been an unlucky run. Or... Should I decrease the difficulty? Now, nah, we're going to go with a... Uh, see, the rewards are ultra good. That's what you want, though, isn't it? We're going to give it one more time. All right, come on. It's the same floor, though. I thought it was, like, randomly generated. All right, come at me, bro. What you got for me this time? Let's not make it repeat. A bit of like, no! Oh, my gosh, I thought it was going to blow up. Oh, we've got TNT this time. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. This is not good. I'm just making schoolboy errors now. F 
Flow one cleared. Yes. <laughs> eh, I'm pretty. I thought it was like random. It's giving me the same stuff, right? Okay, so we're not gonna go with the weapon this time. Maybe better armor. No. Right. Okay. I'm going for these guys because these are actually good. Summon damage, so they will actually help. Okay, we're going to go with these. I mean, if it fails, we'll just play again, and then we'll just check out which reward works, basically. Let's go! Right, use the TNT to kill that guy. Boom! Oh. Wow! Oh my gosh. I'm still failing really bad. I'm going to have to use arrows. Uh. Oh. Oh. Right, okay. I can send my minions out. Go on, attack. You're stuck. Go. Ah, oh, goddammit. I'm still waiting for my potion to regenerate. You're stuck. Oh my gosh, you're not much help, are you? Hey, not bad. They get stunned a bit. I like that. Okay. Not bad. This is this is good. I feel good about this. They, ah, yeah, they get stunned. Far too cleared. Yes. Oh my gosh. We're making progress, people. What we got next? Okay. We're, ooh, Totem of Shielding. Not going to use that in the tower for the quest. So, armor now. Armor is the most important thing now. Let's go. Right. Three, two, one, and summon. Use the TNT. Wow. That was good. Ah, <gasps> spiders. Ah. Oh, I've got a good feeling about this run. Yes. Oh my gosh, let's go. Right. So that could be helpful. I am going to go with this. Can't go wrong with extra health when needed. And I definitely need it. I tried burp and then it didn't work. Go! I can't see. Oh my gosh. I didn't know what that was. That's. Oh no, I hate those guys. No! Oh my gosh, this is terrible. I need to be more strategic. <gasps> no, heal me. Oh no. I'm gonna die. Bread! I am bread. Give me bread. Right, just chill up here. <gasps> we need to kill them. Creepers, stay away. Stay away. Oh, my. Ah! Oh, come on. Right, total of regen again. Send my minions out. Come on, don't get stuck. Come on. No. No. Oh. That's it. Boom. Oh, oh my gosh, the creeper. Where did you creep from flow oh oh <gasps> the flow resets that's new the flow now resets when you die oh my gosh that's brutal very challenging indeed All right yeah my minions died already No. Ah, walked into the explosion. Ah, okay. Yeah, my looks just run out. I hate those guys. Right, play cool. Let's play cool. Let's 
Take it slow and steady. Oh my gosh. Ah! Just catch me off guard. I mean, ah. Uh, yeah. Not strategic enough. Three falls completed, though. That was a better run. That was a lot better. Kind of proud of myself for that. Go back to the Adventure Hub. How much? Well, still the same. You don't really get much XP. Okay, that's fair enough. Defeated mobs using charmed mobs. Okay, then. So, um, that's basically all there is to it. I'm actually just going to go through the actual patch notes now. So we're going to come out of the game and now we're going to read the patch notes. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay, though. Thank you very much for watching. Now let's go over and check out the patch notes. All right, so here we are with um, the patch notes. So we're just going to have a quick, brief read through it. Uh, what you need to know, so you guys already know what Minecraft Dungeons is. It's an action RPG spin-off of Minecraft, blah, 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 on Wednesday. Uh, Luminous Night, the second seasonal adventure for the game. The feature brings dozens of changes and improvements as well as tons of new features for the tower and the adventure hub. Minecraft Dungeons Season 2 Luminous Nights is now available for players to download and play right now. So, Minecraft Dungeons moved away from all DLC, like full DLC. Apparently they're done with that now. In favor of seasonal adventures, which periodically adds brand new content and features for players to explore and unlock. Mo Yang have been working on Season 2 of Minecraft Dungeons, which includes new mobs to fight, new pets to adore, new quality of life improvements, and new features for the tower. Da 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 da, new optional adventure pass with tons of premium rewards on top of free tiers, missions, and challenges. New content for the tower, including additional biomes, puzzles, floors, and enemies. The Wildfire, a boss-like mob with four shields, the ability to regenerate health in fire, and terrible ranged fire attacks. New adorable pets, cosmetic flares, emotes, and much more to unlock through the tower, the adventure pass, and more. The addition of the storage chest, which allows players to store and organize all of the gear, up to 300 new slots in the camp and sink it through the cloud, which is pretty sweet. 10 new achievements to unlock dozens of other fixes, changes, and improvements. Uh, available now on all platforms, Xbox, PlayStation, PC, Switch, and Xbox Cloud Gaming. Overview, become the avatar once more and take on new challenges in Luminous Night, Minecraft Dungeon's second seasonal adventure. Explore the tower by night with fresh floors that feature mysterious murals, perplexing, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure you guys can read all this yourselves, but... Uh, Features the tower, explore the towers you've never seen before. Adventure points are now rewarded after clearing each floor of the tower. Even if the tower run has failed, clearing the tower grants maximum points. When a floor has been cleared of all mobs, there is a new pop-up notification to indicate the floor is now clear. Nice. The waypoint to the exit now only appears when the floor has been cleared. Seasonal adventure. Okay. These are clues. Duh, duh, duh. The act of duh, duh, duh. New and exciting weekly challenges have been added to the rotation with many adjustments to pacing made directly from community feedback. A pop-up message now appears during gameplay to let you know when weekly challenges have been completed. Yes, as we did see that, I love it. Many reworks to the Adventure Hub for better readability and navigation. Storage chest. Cool. Achievements. Da -da -da. Ten more of them. Changes and fixes. So there's been some changes and fixes to the tower, weekly challenges, enchantments, missions, gear, mobs, jungle, abomination, wretched wraith, user interface, known issues. And that is just the gist of it. So, yeah, all sounds good to me. So, yeah, Minecraft Season 2, Luminous Nights. Let me know if you guys are on it and you have the pass. Um, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch very, very soon. So please don't forget to check out the description, my links to all my socials, including Twitch. Join the, our new Discord server as well. I've been working on that uh, recently, and it's really good. I'm really proud of it. We just need some more members now to 
join that. So all that is in the description. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you dropped a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to come back for some more content such as this. And um, yeah, thank you again for watching. Really appreciate it. And also say hello in the comments. Would be nice to see you guys. So see you later.